What's up everyone? This is Thomas Donahue from the Drivers Apex. Got the E30 there. We've got the Honda CRV there, but guess what? The Honda CRV has got to go out there because we've got another E30 on the channel. Now it's only gonna be for a couple months, doing a mild restore for a buddy of mine, but definitely stay tuned for content. So the car's gonna be here in about an hour. I can't wait to show you all what it looks like. And we've got a GoPro. So I hope that we've got some better content on its way. So hang tight. Here's our project car, looking good. Paint looks great. Super happy about the paint and everything else like that. Just mechanically got to figure out what's going on. With this cool off, we're gonna check these plugs, see what's up, check the mass sensor, stuff like that. It's got the original blue plug in it, so it's probably never been messed with. But I got to figure out why it's running a little rich. It definitely smells rich, but I want to check plugs. Check idle control valve, stuff like that. But yeah, nice, looking good. Interior needs a little bit of work. I see what the new owner's talking about. It feels good, it's just got some cracks and stuff like that. And I don't know if I can salvage that. That one can totally be salvaged. <sighs> Seat sticks a little bit. That's in good condition. So just gotta see what to do and then gotta find a dash if possible. Yeah, you can see the paint looks really good. This is this is a good car to start with. But this is where I think most of our time and money is gonna be spent is making sure all of this is taken care of. This might be something where we pull the entire engine and we check every seal, reseal, replace everything. All right, let's do a little quick walk around. It needs shocks. I could tell when I pulled the car in, it, it was bouncing all over the place. Let's see the, the front. Let's see if this will pick up the front real quick. Yeah, when I, pulled, when I was pulling the car in and I saw the video, this side's definitely not as bad, but I could see it shaking. I could feel it shaking when I was in the car. My E30 definitely doesn't do that this side's definitely better this side that's really bad all right let's see if this picks me up in the video hopefully it does i think it will this car needs a lot of work body i think is in really good condition stuff like this i'm not too worried about i think it probably is going to need to be replaced but we got a lot of work to do in two months there is a ton of oil seepage coming from the engine i'm not surprised that the engine runs like crap because there's probably 30 different intake leaks or vacuum leaks so i think that's the first step i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to pull the entire engine and just reseal everything clutch all that which is something i think the owner might want to do uh, the clutch definitely feels different than mine. I don't know if I like the way it feels. I like the way that mine feels. And I would think many people would prefer my clutch feel over the clutch feel of this. 
So I think this is where we need to spend most of our time. He's resealing, getting rid of oil leaks, making sure this car runs really, really well. The R12 still works in this. I don't think we should mess with that. This car is all original. It's 87 325 IS. If we're looking at BAT, we know these things are starting to pull a premium. So we want to keep this as original as possible. Maybe a OEM plus something like that. So that's where we're at. I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough with what I saw and let you all kind of decide on your own maybe what I should do. And then put in some comments in the in the comment section. Should I pull the engine? Should I separate the trans um, and do a clutch that way? Should I pull it all at once? Replace every seal, clean it? You tell me, but I think I know what I want to do, but I want to hear what you all have to say. All right, here's our 325 IS. The paint looks really good. We're not gonna to touch it, clean it, anything until the very end. There's no point. My friends, this is where we've got a lot of work ahead of us. I don't know if you can see. Actually, let's see if we can look down there. That's an oil cooler line. That thing is no good. There is a bunch of leaking coming from the oil pan gasket. That's an easy fix. Must be a bad seal there, no big deal. These plates are so, so cool. I love it. Here's what I mean about the, the bumper pieces, stuff like that. I don't think I can salvage that. Down here, I don't know if we can see. Not really. The bitch tube is, of course, leaking. Not a surprise. There's a ton of leaking down here. But the craziness, let's flip the camera real quick. All right, we can start to see all that oil seepage coming from there. Check that out. Let's zoom in. There's oil leaking from the bell housing. Now, is that from the oil pan gasket or is that a rear main seal? Hmm. All right, same thing here. There's lots of fun oil. Sorry if there's some banging there. That's just the uh, the gimbal hitting the car. Yeah, so there's a lot of oil here. There's some little odds and ends here, like that piece needs to be replaced. Seats aren't too bad. I honestly would probably rock these seats. Not too, too hateful. But we're doing a restore on this. The passenger seat's not too bad. I think just some good conditioner and it would be fine. We're gonna replace that. Here's the problem. Are we gonna have time to fix a crack dash? I don't know, in two months, we're gonna have to work our tails off while maintaining a full-time job. Back seat looks great. We don't need to touch that. Door cards look good. See what I mean? Door's not shutting properly. So yeah, the car looks nice. I think that's the key is paint, all original paint, everything looks good. That's what we want. The engine stuff. We'll get that figured out. We just want to make sure that this paint is fresh. And it really is. It looks really darn good. Sunroof seal's a little dry. We've got the Kumos. These are actually 195s. So I run 190s and I haven't really seen too many 195s. These are a little faded. Not sure if we can bring them back. I'm gonna try. I say we try it first. I pulled some spark plugs, no real oil on that. I don't think it's burning oil. It smells like fuel actually. But I would imagine some of the oil is from the valve cover gasket leaking into the spark plug holes. I mean, this stuff already tells me kind of what's happening. I think we're in a good spot here. The owner originally wanted to put an S52 in it, so I don't think they were too, too stressed out about how the M20 ran, stuff like that. But we're gonna try and get this M20 running right for the new owner of this nice looking E30.
everyone. I'm going to call this a wrap <clears throat> for the day. I was editing the video last night. I really didn't do anything to finish out the video, so that's what I want to do. Got cars driving by. They're probably wondering what in the world I'm doing. So I'm going to, we're going to move into the second video. This stuff's going to happen quick. We've got two months to get this project done. So we're going to get this thing up on Jackson's, but before we get up on Jackson's, we're going to take it to a car wash. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, we're going to power wash the un underside of the car, put some UV dye in this thing, figure out where all this oil's coming from. Then we're going to start doing an estimate on what needs to be done for the owner, send it over, and then start working on the car. And then hopefully in the mail today, the resistor is in so that we can drop this, pull it out. This E30, we're gonna turn it around. But as always, thanks for watching. Definitely leave those comments in the comments section and definitely give this video a like. All right, guys, later.